Revelation too. I love Revelation. It scares a lot of people. But. Which it's crazy, bro. I was telling you about the Revelation I had about Revelation 2 yesterday. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. Like you had already got it. Like, <laughs> like, I've never heard this before in my life. And you already knew. It. You was like, wow. Yeah, Revelation 2. Jesus is he's issuing his rebukes to to the churches. And in um, Revelation 2, starting in verse 2, it's to the church in Ephesus. The Ephesian church, it says, I know your works, your toil, and your patient endurance, and how you cannot bear with those who are evil, but have tested those who call themselves apostles and are not, and found them to be false. I know you are enduring patiently and bearing up for my name's sake, and you have not grown weary. And you can see that. Like, this church, man, they're they're trying to follow God. You can see them. They're not conforming to the pattern of this world. They're trying to be transformed. They're following the Lord. They're they're serving, they're loving people. And then Jesus says, I have this against you, that you have abandoned first love. And he's saying, like, I know you're working. I know, I know you're tired. I know you're not at rest. I know that you've abandoned, or I know that you have, you're doing all these things for me, but you're, you forgot about me. You forgot about the love you had at first, which is me. And Jesus, I love that he gives them the remedy. And he says, remember, therefore, the works you did at first. He says, but I have this against you that you have abandoned the love you had at first. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen, repent and do the works you did at first. And it's... it's so also, if they're doing, it. from the outside looking in, they are doing everything. Yeah. So repent, how do you repent to the works there? What are What's at first? What is that? What's the works you did at first? I mean, think about the first moment you got saved. You're not thinking that you you attained this. You're not like, man, I finally finished my job. You know, it's finally over. The project is finished. Now I have salvation. No, you're you're like, wow. I just need to love. Like this is this is what I was created for. This is what I was made for. That's the love you had at first at, at salvation. And you're not thinking, man, I attained this, but the love you had at first is just to believe. That's what Jesus says. Like, what are the works we are to do for God? Believe in he whom he has sent. The Christian, when they first get saved, if they forget to read their Bible in the morning, they don't care. Yeah. Because I just got saved out of, did you see Jesus, all this bad stuff I used to do? I was born again. And now I'm born again, but I just came out of so many nasty, dirty things. And I forgot to read my Bible. I didn't, I forgot to go to, I overslept church one time. I don't care because Jesus says, I love you despite all your bad stuff you've done. He loved, we love because he first loved us. And he loved us before beginning. He's the, he's the lamb slain before the foundation of the earth. And so he's, that's crazy what you're saying. He loved us. He's had this love for us for the beginning of time. Yeah. And I love Revelation 14 because it hits a little bit more on the rest. And I love how, um, like, the mark of someone who has returned to first love is that they're at rest. Ooh, that is a bar, bro. It says in Revelation 14, Starting in verse 11, or verse 10, it says, He will also drink the wine of God's wrath, poured full strength into the cup of his anger, and he will be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment goes up forever and ever, and they have no rest. And wow, the person who's not saved, the the mark of their life is that they're not at rest. And you read on, And it says, here's a call for the endurance of the saints, those who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus, those who their work is to believe, those who have returned to first love. And it says, I heard a voice from heaven saying, write this, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on, blessed indeed, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors for their deeds follow them. And it's like, these are the people that They had the faith. These are the people who returned to first love. And it says, 
Blessed indeed are they, that they may rest from their labors. And Jesus says, come to me, all who are tired, all who are weary, all who have this burden, come to me and I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And it doesn't mean that there's no yoke, doesn't mean there's no yoke, no burden, doesn't mean life's not hard, doesn't mean that there's not a narrow path, but it means that it's easy with him and only because of what he's done already.